hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here on a piece of cardboard I started to draw the figure it was much easier to give the shape on the cardboard instead of using the plastic bottle or the glass bottle uh, because the figure the style the pose I wanted to make it was much easier to draw it on cardboard than to work accordingly so that's why I did it in this way but if you find any bottle in this shape a little bit similar this shape you can use the bottle as well so now I will cut this a little bit keeping the margin and then I will start to use the foil and the newspaper on top of this to make it like a figure shape to make it like a body shape instead of having the flat cardboard Then here I am having this uh, rolled cardboard piece hard uh, pipe this is from I think from the foil or from nylon wrap so I am using it as a stand to make it stick it behind the cardboard so it can stand easily like this you see it's standing easily now and then I will start to use again the same thing with the foil and with the newspaper uh, on this board cardboard piece So some people say that uh, instead of foil can we use the newspaper so here I want to show yes you can but uh, it was little bit harder because uh, the newspaper was little bit fluffy type but the foil once you press it down it holds the shape so but anyway I use the newspaper as well just to show to those people who are always saying that uh, foil is expensive and can we use the newspaper so here it is I'm just making it like a fluffy shape like body curvy shape then I'm using the paper tape around it to close it properly and this is you need to check from where you need to make her waist thin and her little bit belly outside then her hips are a little bit curvy and those things this is you will see by yourself how we need to give it the shape for her body Then on the bottom I will be using some cardboard pieces for the more stability instead of having the foil or just newspaper on the bottom. I will use this cardboard piece and it will give it um, a nice shape for her dress as well and 
uh, more stability to stand as well properly. And then I will be covering these pieces of cardboard as well with the masking tape all around. And then I'm making for her head uh, using the air dry clay. You can use any clay, I mean any clay which can dry properly, dry hard. It doesn't matter what brand you are using. So then I took the piece of foil to make her neck and uh, then I will be putting this clay head over her neck I will make a little bit hole in it to insert it inside the foil for more stability And then the same thing I will be doing for her neck and half of her body. I will not cover all the body with the clay. So in this way we can save it as well. Just for the smooth looks I will be using the clay on top parts. And I will be making the arms as well with the clay only. For nice finishing. And for the rest of her body I will be using the speckling paste or ceramic powder or plaster of Paris whatever is available for you guys so here I made her uh, shoulders uh, as well and I am smoothing them down a little bit to give her body nice shape for her shoulders So I didn't like this clay that I uh, the one I used before um, it became hard as well because it was a little bit old so I decided to use this smooth play-doh it's for kids as I said before in my previous video I think uh, of sculpture I love this clay it holds the shape it smooths easily it's nice it's uh, it gives you easy to work with it so I don't know maybe you guys are not comfortable in this clay the kids clay plate or whatever but me I love this one and I feel better working with this clay instead of uh, the professional air dry clay anyway that's just me you can use whatever clay is available So here is this speckling paste and I will be covering all of her body with this paste. You can use plaster of Paris in a powder form and then mix some water or glue uh, as you want. But this one was ready so I brought it like this and I love the texture of this paste. It works smoothly and yeah I love working with this paste. So here on this part I am trying to apply more paste to define her leg shape like her standing pose. Her legs are uh, cross sides in this way like showing the pose of her uh, dress and standing position whatever you call it anyway. So this is I used um, a little bit more paste to define the shape for her body the legs actually. And if you are new to my channel it's really really great to have you here and thank you so much for your time to watch my videos 
before going please click on subscribe button to support my work to watch the upcoming new ideas and videos so yeah thank you so much for your support if you do so then here on this pieces of cardboard I'm gonna make the wings So here these wings are ready and then I will be applying the speckling paste on these wings as well for the both sides and then I will be giving some details. I was not feeling comfortable with her head shape with that air dry clay so I decided to use this polymer clay the smooth one over her head to make it nice smooth finishing and then I will be using for her neck a little bit then I will make the arms as well with the same this clay uh, play dough. okay can you guys please comment down below to explain me what's the difference in polymer clay and in this play-doh I really don't have any idea many times I try to google it but I get confused I don't find proper details in uh, difference between polymer clay and this play-doh the kids they use for playing um, so please comment down below if you think you can explain me what is the difference so anyway here I made the arms as well instead of using the foil or wire for the arms I just rolled the, uh, this display dough and I was so happy with the result of this one so I just made the arms completely with the play dough here you can see and I will be sticking them with the hot with the sorry not with hot glue with the white glue to stick them on the shoulder and then on her uh, front part of her body like she is standing in this way and keeping her hands on here Then I'm using this black acrylic paint to cover her whole body with this paint. You can use the color of your choice if you want.
now I want to color the wings so I'm using uh, silver and golden acrylic paints I will mix them together to get the color different shade little bit like um, not silver not golden this is how I can explain I don't know what exactly the color I will get it's shade of golden and silver I think and yes please do let me know what exactly that color we uh, call it once we mix the silver and golden paint together this is now still golden I will add here a little bit more silver for the both sides and then I will let them dry and then you will see the shade what it will be exactly it's not silver and it's not golden so please do let me know about this as well what color is this actually I just work with the things I have no idea for most of the things what exactly they call so this is how I am anyway this is here you can see it's not exact silver it is uh, I think in camera also it looks silver but in reality it's a different shade it's a mixed shade of silver and golden so here this is the plastic uh, uh, of something it's a little bit hard piece of plastic so I decided to use it here I have measured the wings where I need to stick them for her back so this is how I got the distance between both wings so I stick them with this plastic and then on this plastic I will apply the glue and then I will stick it on the back and here you can see how it looks like the shade I loved it and I was so happy with this thing so here for some edges for her wings I will be giving them a little bit golden shade to highlight them and then here this is the craft form white color um, I will be cutting them like uh, petals shape little bit and then I will be designing it on her dress by using the hot glue to stick these petals shape over her dress and then I will be coloring them as well with the same golden and silver acrylic paints to highlight them not to leave them pure white just to give them shades like her wings so here we are almost done I hope you like the video uh, keep watching keep subscribing keep sharing and keep giving me ideas please do follow me on my facebook page and on instagram anywhere on instagram you can ask me any questions anything related to crafts or if you want to have any idea how to make that or this or furniture or anything so you are most welcome you can send me messages on my instagram because i am active there more than my facebook page but um, anyway i do use the facebook as well so thank you so much for your support and bye for now